What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global here with another video. And you guys knew this video was coming if you saw my John Simon video, the defense event that the Patriots signed. So the New England Patriots have placed running back Rex Burkhead along with rookie linebacker Jawa Bentley on the injured reserve. And I gotta say, this, this really, really, really sucks. Now, before I get too into things, I want to say the corresponding moves of putting Rex Burkhead and Bentley on the IR. Because they were put on the IR, this frees up two roster spots. And if you watch my John Simon video, then you know that basically putting Bentley on... Well, it, it isn't even necessarily Bentley, but putting one of these players on IR freed up that spot for the signing of Simon. And then... What was it? Last week? Last week or this week a few days ago? We saw a return of running back Kenyon Barner. The running back that was a free agent that was a former Philadelphia Eagle and most recently for the Carolina Panthers and then was cut for 53-man roster cutdowns. If you want to know more about him and, his running, and the running back style that he is, I made a video on that signing, so go check that out. But the Patriots re-signed him, and they were going to need to let a player go. But because of Rex Burkhead getting injured in the Lions game and Bentley being put on IR, that frees up two roster spots. Now, if I'm going to be totally honest with you, Rex Burkhead was not too much of a surprise. I mean, it was definitely a little bit of a surprise that it actually ended up happening. But with his injuries already this season, it, it isn't something that is totally shocking. But Juwan Bentley being put on the IR was a huge shock as I literally never saw him get injured during the game and leave. I mean, I don't remember seeing Rex Burkhead leave, but I definitely remember being like, where did he go? But I literally never remember seeing Bentley leave. So far this season, Bentley has progressed on with 14 tackles and an interception. And the Patriots can bring them back week 12 if they choose to but if the page but if the rules for bringing players back from IR are the same as last year then the pages can only bring back two players from IR now a lot of players have been put on IR already this season so I'm gonna list the players that are on IR right now for you guys so on IR currently, we have Isaiah Wynn, Jawan Bentley, Rex Burkhead, Jeremy Hill, Ehrlich John, Christian Sam, Braxton Berrios, Ryan Izzo, and Duke Dawson. Now, some of those guys that I listed were put on IR before the season started, so they cannot return. Those players are tight end Ryan Izzo and wide receiver Braxton Berrios. And then you look at other players like... Um, Isaiah Wynn, Jeremy Hill, and Ehrlich John, they both, um, or they th the three of them, aren't going to be returning this season because they have torn ACLs. When you have a torn ACL, you're not coming back. If it was a minor injury, then yes, they could come back, but when you have a torn ACL, you're not coming back this season. So what it's looking like is that they could bring back Bentley, Burkhead, Christian Sam, and Duke Dawson. Those are most likely their choices, but keep in mind more players might be put on IR throughout the season. Knock on wood, it doesn't, but you never know, especially with the Patriots. Now, after being put on IR, Bentley posted something on Instagram, and it was a pretty long post, and it was a picture of him playing, just basically thanking Pat's Nation. To me, it was kind of weird, because it kind of seemed like he was getting released, but he isn't, and nor would the Patriots release him. But it definitely sounds like, and this is something that a lot of um, Pat's fans and Pat's pages and all on Instagram that I've seen have agreed on, and that is that it seems like Bentley's season is over. And this might not be because the Patriots simply don't want to bring him back. This might be because he has an injury that is a lot more severe than we expected. Nobody actually knows what happened to Bentley. I've heard that it's something possibly with like his neck or his back or his shoulder or something like that, but nothing has been confirmed and nothing has been said about him. As for Burkhead being put on IR, he has a neck injury, and from what it sounds like, he was going to miss an extended period of time, and the Patriots basically just 
didn't want to keep him on the 53-man roster if he was going to miss basically half of the season. And to me, that just really sucks, especially after the contract that Burkhead got this offseason. He got, what, like a three-year... I don't even remember how much it is money-wise, but he got a good amount. And to have faced the injuries he did last season and not play that much, and to already be injured as much as he had this season and dealing with it, just really, really, really sucks for the Pats. Patriots fellow linebackers such as Kyle Van Noy and Hightower and Elder Roberts were all saying how great Bentley was doing and how he was really picking things up. So in my opinion, I don't think it is just randomly placing Bentley on IR. I honestly think that there is some type of injury or something going on with him that we just do not know right now. And obviously, there still is the chance that he does come back this season. We are just making assumptions based off of what we know and what we have seen. But ultimately, we don't have a clear answer. We just weren't given one. In the end, though, we are just going to have to wait and see what happens. Adding John Simon to the defense should definitely help it uh, tremendously. But in all honesty, I don't feel like Kenyon Barner is the answer for Burkhead. And to be quite honest, I feel like the Patriots still haven't found the answer for Jeremy Hill, and now losing Burkhead and adding Kenyon Barner to replace both him and Jeremy Hill is just very confusing. The Patriots literally do not have a power back or a guy that can break the tackles whatsoever. They literally have Sony Michelle, who has had issues. They have James White, who is good, but he's more of a pass catcher. And now Kenyon Barner, who is just a smaller guy. But, like I said, we'll just have to see the moves that the Patriots are going to make. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Burkett and Benley being put on the IR? Make sure you guys let me know in the comments. Also, like and subscribe. It helps me out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows we can go to the Patriots Global Family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video. We'll